Hi, I'm Alex Sykes with a news update. Attorney General Lee Sarcher is standing by a review undertaken into the relationship between MP Sarah Courtney and her head of department John Whittington. Labor has referred the matter to the Integrity Commission despite a review finding Miss Courtney had only slightly breached her code of conduct by not revealing the relationship earlier. The government is accusing the party of playing politics and undermining the work of Tasmania's top legal mind. Hobart's new look council will formally be sworn in tonight with some fresh faces stepping up to decide on how the city is run. History will be made with a father and daughter sitting around the table with Mike Dutta and daughter Zelinda Sherlock both elected. The cable car was a hot issue during the campaign and is said to remain the issue to watch. Authorities are reminding Tasmanians to party safe tomorrow as they take part in Melbourne Cup Day festivities. Extra police officers will be patrolling streets and entertainment venues, reminding people that it's illegal to drink on the street. Booze buses will be deployed statewide in an attempt to keep people safe and crack down on drink and drug driving. And a young Tasmanian musician is about to jet off to the United Kingdom on a $20,000 scholarship. The cellist, a third-year University of Tasmania student who went through three auditions before receiving the grant to gain international insight into the industry. To tomorrow's forecast now, Hobart and Launceston showers 19, Burnie 15, Devonport 17, Swansea a max of 21, Strawn showers 16, a shower or two in King Island 15, Canberra showers a top of 28, mostly sunny in Cairns and Brisbane. That's all the news for now. I'll be back in an hour with more updates.